round of applause for Chef Benedict, please. Hello, everybody. Oh. Good afternoon, everybody. So we're going to start. We don't have much time, but ask me questions as we go ahead. So um, we're making a, just a classic four-course Italian meal. Italian meals are structured in four courses. You have your starter, primo, secondo, and you have your dolce. So now I'm going to start with the starter. It's just a quick zucchini velute, um, just with some seared um, calamari or Zucchini fish. what? Velute. Okay. It's like a thickish soup. Okay. Call it like that. All right. You people do not understand, Davi. Which one is that? It's not a foreign room. All right, so is that olive oil, just regular Some olive vegetable? Oil. Okay. Help me crush two garlic. Two garlic. So we're just going to start by infusing our olive oil. Chilies. These are chilies from Ekbe, just to give you a little bit of heat. Okay, so not chopped up. Got that in? I have to turn this down. So you're not chopping anything? No. Nope. Just putting everything whole? Um, I love balance when I cook. Putting things whole yeah. gives you the essence of what you're getting, but okay. it's not too harsh. Okay. All we're trying to do is just create a little bit of flavor, like just a little bit of flavor in the oil. Okay. Um, later on, we're going to blend everything. If we All start right. chopping everything now, it's going to be too harsh. Okay. Get me the onions. So red onions or white onions? Are you red onions, red onions, red oh, onions. Okay. okay. Thanks, Sean. So are you particular about what, you know, the heat that you use? I love high heat. Okay. Love Why? very high heat. I don't know, just habit. In my house, we cook with a lot of high heat. Okay. You see, very rough chop, nothing difficult. This doesn't really matter because we're going to blend everything later. Okay. All right, so what is this? The zucchini. Well, okay. marrow, as we call it here. And is this something you can get here? Yes, everywhere on the side of the road. Okay. Literally, it's like 300 naira for one or something. Okay. So how, like how many is this? This is um, about two and a half. All right, so what was that? Black pepper? Black pepper, salt. And salt, okay. Cut Are you also butter. MSG free? Do you also like to cook with no MSG? Yes, none, okay. no whatsoever. Okay. Only natural things. Okay. So we're putting in a bit of white wine. Don't worry, we're not going to do any flames. <laughs> no flame? No flames, no flames. Oh. Nice, Very light. <laughs> <laughs> so you see a little bit of garlic, onions, zucchini, chili. Okay. Throw that in. So butter just for fat content, because you know fat makes everything better. <laughs> here, here. Okay. A little bit of water. Well, stock is usually better, but I'm trying to show you like a quick way of doing everything. So, okay. so what kind of stock? So I usually use a seafood stock. Okay. Okay. But then you can, you know, pick your preference of stock. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. All right. But seafood, because we're doing something that's seafood based. So. Okay, that's ready, basically. Now. So cover it up? Yes. All right. This. Now we're starting on our cauliflower puree. So cauliflower puree is still this is for, a starter. Th no, this is for our second course actually. But okay. what I want to do is get the velute and the puree out of the way. Because more or less they're the same base. Okay. So we'll start that and they can sit and we can keep them. All right. So for, well, I don't like cauliflower. So for people that don't like cauliflower, can oh, you, you like can this? You, do you like this, you like this, sure? you like this. Okay. If you say so. <laughs> so, chilies again, but a little bit less this time. Cauliflowers are quite delicate. Is this like really hot? Relatively, yeah. Okay. But can you sub um, this for broccoli? Mm, you could, yeah. but I, you'll see why cauliflower is good for this. Okay. Okay. 
So more red onions again. More red onions. Garlic. Are we doing any more garlic? Two garlic. Okay. Never crushed. Are you going to be using this wine Leaks. anymore? Sorry? Are you a little bit of white again? wine after? Just asking so that we yes, can drink yes. it. Does anybody have questions? Anyone have questions? No? Okay. If you do have a question, just wave and I'll come to you. If you are too far, I'm not coming because I'm wearing heels. That's really. Do you have a question? All right. Butter. Hello, Chef. Well, I noticed you use a lot of um, oil and, um, and butter. For those that do not want fat, like those that don't want fat, that literally <laughs> eats the fat content. Yes. What do we use instead you, of that? You can drink water. Hallelujah. <laughs> I was going to say the same thing, but yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. All right, so cauliflower into the oil. What else have you put? You put cauliflower, wine again. Cauliflower, no onions, leeks. No flame, no oh. flame. Sorry. No flame, guys. <laughs> Holly, any seasoning? Yes, just a little bit of salt, black pepper. For this. Okay. We want a very clean taste. Very, okay. very clean. I want um, the leeks to come out, the onions to come out, the garlic. Just very, very homey, very simple. All right. So, our zucchini are getting soft, as you can see. How long does it usually take to get to... This will literally take another... Okay. Sorry, tasting spoon. Just do it the Niger way. So I always encourage people to taste the food as you're cooking. Like maybe six or seven times even. Oh. Sorry. Was that, was that like, mm, like no, that's nice. That's it's already nice. It's already nice. Uh, Uncle, why are you two tasting? <laughs> why are you tasting too? Uh. Okay. Chill. Just help me put a little bit no, of water I'm in good. here water so as i said with this you can use stock as well make sorry. uncle some more water for you okay. that doesn't like um, water and stuff another cup just saying nice. little cup over there so how long does this cook for this i want it slightly crunchy so okay or five minutes. All right. Let's say six minutes. All right. Get close. Okay. Now, we can start the dessert because we're going to keep it in the fridge. So what dessert are we making? Yes. So, just a classic Italian summer dessert. Fresh strawberries, red wine, sugar. That's it. Classic, classic Italian what? Summer dessert. Oh, okay. Summer Strawberries, dessert. red okay. wine, and just sugar. Leave it in the fridge for about two hours and you're good. Oh, okay. okay wow. So. so, strawberries at the bottom. Yes. Okay. Must it be, it must be red wine? Yeah? Mostly red wine. Okay. So put sugar on it. So does the, does the red wine kind of make it into like a syrupy kind of feel? No, after? it's because alcohol tastes good okay. most times. So that's all it is. So just any simple bottle of red wine, make sure it's not sweet. Okay. And that's it. We're that's done. it? That's it. Freezer or fridge? Well, freezer if you want it quickly, fridge. For a couple of hours. Okay. All right. Let's check our zucchini. 
Hello, well done, please. Oh, sorry, good day, house. Excuse me, please. What if you don't take alcohol? Is there any other substitutes? Um, for that dessert, no. Well, you could do it with some chocolate. Some nice chocolate, but like you don't put sugar chocolate. at that point. So melted chocolate? Yes. Dark or milk? Dark. Dark chocolate. Dark, dark, okay. dark, dark, dark. Okay, so our zucchini are ready. Just gonna leave it open for a few minutes so it dries up slightly. Oh, but wow. once it starts getting a little bit like this, it's ready. Okay. But does it still, is it still crunchy or is it really soft? No, it's quite soft now. Do you want to taste? Yes. Okay. This is going to be hot? No, not that hot, don't worry. <laughs> oh, you want me to tell you how it is? Next time, <laughs> post. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we can put this in the blender. It tastes like, you know when you do like fried rice, yeah? And then you try to taste the water. Yeah, that's what it tastes like. It's awesome. Now I'm wary of cauliflower. I don't like cauliflower at all. <laughs> you like this one, you like this one. <laughs> I don't. Does anybody here like cauliflower? Yes. Cauliflower people are on this side. What else again? Cauliflower. Anybody like broccoli? Yes. See? One so, more. So Don't talk to any cauliflower person next to you. <laughs> <laughs> so we're basically, so our starter is basically ready. Okay. Oh the, wow, you're gonna blend it? Yes, yes, we're gonna blend it. Okay. So is it going to be pureed or is it going to be like... Okay, good. We'll do any, How thick is it going to be? It's going to be much more liquid. We're going to add some cooking cream in there. Oh. It's going to be, yes. Okay. Hello. Pass me the other pots. So what do you usually eat that with? Um, we're going to do some sautéed calamari right now. The okay. other, yeah. Okay, hence why you said the seafood base. Since yes. We're doing more seafood. So. More oil again. This time little. Not much. Are you doing the pepper and onions again? No, 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 no. We're changing. We're changing. All right. Help me open this. Just going to keep these here. All right. So this is the second component of our starter. All right. Yeah. This, is, this is quite a wonderful starter. <laughs> There's a Let's whole lot of there. stuff going in it. OK. So how long are we going to saute the calamari for? Literally three minutes. Three minutes. And it's That's done. All. It's literally just to kiss the calamari. OK. Put it there quickly. So why aren't you doing anything to flavor the oil like before? No, there's no need. The calamari are quite flavorful, but at the same time delicate. I don't really want to cover it with anything. Okay. Now we're going to sfumare, which is where you add a little bit of alcohol. Salt, black pepper. So after blending that, are you going to put cream into it? Yes. And then blend again? Yes. Oh, wow. So, so. That's it. Black pepper. So why black pepper? Um, I, I don't know, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> no, black pepper is beautiful. That's a little bit thicker, a little bit lighter. Go. So you add the cream to that, but not this. Why? Yes. Um, Why can't you just add the cream here and then? No, no, you don't want to ruin the seafood. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then take this over there. Let 
Let me taste it again. Wait, wait, wait. Does anybody have questions? That's fine. Yeah. Blend that. Okay, this is now ready. Oh. Next, wash the blender, blend right, this. My question, um, good afternoon Just everyone. Just pour it. My pour it question the same, is, um, pour it to the same I noticed as that calamari. it's not using um, a Maggi, maybe like no. And then bring um, me the calamari. It's not using any Maggi at all, so I just want to know why. So no MSG, salt. And just substitute, right? Chef? Yes? So she's wondering why no MSG. Because MSG is not good for you. Okay. It's actually terrible. See? Well, if you don't know how to use it appropriately, it's terrible. So, so no. salt and a little bit of stock. And also, it gives everything the same flavor. So with this, well, you'll taste it. You'll be one of the people to taste it. All right. So I guess you taste it. Is that what you wanted? Okay, switch the fire up. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I have a question about uh, calamari. Oh, it's fine. Perfect. Uh, can you get that locally? And if you can, where from? Sorry? Uh, calamari. Did you get it locally? And if you did, where can you source calamari? Um, well, you get it locally. In fact, we have it in abundance. Um, I get it. The freshest you find in a papa's, um, at their papa port. That's the best place. All our, all our Atlantic Ocean stuff comes from there. Um, if not, law school, places like that, you'll find it. So I use baby calamari. I didn't use because they're not as thick. And they cook quick, quicker and they're just more delicate flavor wise. So, so now, we we're get, now we're getting to the actual thing I've been looking forward to cooking crab. Ooh. So we're making a crab ragu. What is a ragu? A ragu is basically any sort of, in Italian, a ragu is what you guys call a bolognese sauce, which literally means a ragu from Bologna. So what we're doing is that we're making a crab ragu. Anything that has any sort of sauce with a protein, it doesn't need to be tomato based. It can be white wine based, cream based, but like usually a ragu is just proteins in a sauce and you serve it with pasta. So. We're going to infuse our oil again, this time using crab claws. Oh, wow. Those are really big crabs. So where is where's the meaty crab side? Yeah, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Uh, okay, so why are you putting this in? This is gonna, you'll see, it's gonna sweat and we're gonna get the full flavor of crab in here. Okay. This is what you do when you don't have a stock. Okay. Chili as usual. So after you do this, are you gonna take this out? No. No? Oh. We're gonna leave it in the whole time. Crabs look very different. Why? It's our local crab, though. Really? It's the cheapest seafood you can find. Crab. They have it literally everywhere. And it's so flavorful. These Shall look us? really big. So, doing. So, we have shallots. Okay. Some more garlic. Taste this. The cauliflower I don't like. Oh, uh, okay. Did you blend it as well? Yes. Onions. Okay, actually it is nice. And I'm not just saying that, it actually does. Fresh tomatoes, locally sourced. Okay. 
So cut it in what, half or in fours? Quarter. Quarters, Quarter. okay. Tell me through this one. So why do, you, why do you do that? Why not like chop it up? Um, I just like fresh tomatoes like this. I wanted to keep. Do you get keep, more juice? Yeah, not that you get more juice. I want it to stay a little bit solid, have a bit of bite to it. Okay, okay. No, it's fine. Okay. Like cook it or yes. let it sit. It gives it more taste. Okay. It's much more flavorful. The pasta itself. Just help me wash this up. Yeah, don't worry. We're good. Pasta is not ready yet. So what are we going to do with the cabbage and carrots? It's going to be our nutritional content in our second course. <laughs> So, why, why the mix? I mean, no, just so that it doesn't stick to the bottom. Oh, okay. So, is the fish done or fish? Oh, it's ready. Done? This is ready. All right. Get me a tissue. And then I'm sure, help me taste the pasta. Don't forget, guys, if you do put any of this on social media, don't forget to use the hashtag. It's GT Bank Food Drink, not GT Bank Food and Drink. All right? Got it? So, at what point do you put the pasta in? Are you starting to do that now? Uh, we're just making sure it's fully cooked. Okay. So does this pasta take a longer time to cook? Yes. Much thicker, is it? Is it cooked? Almost. So do you have to wait for it to be cooked before you put right. it in there? Yeah? Yeah, you can answer now. Are you not a chef too? No, I use sous chef. Okay. All right. So you have to wait for the pasta to be cooked before you put it in here. Al dente. Why is it called al dente? I don't. I don't know what that means. I don't speak Italian. Yeah. All right. So al dente means soft. Al dente meat. is literally translated on the teeth. On the teeth, meaning that when you bite into it, your teeth can feel it a little bit. Okay. Oliver. Oliver. Black pepper? Oh. So is that just for garnish purposes? That's, no, it's... It has a little bit more flavor. It's like a... It's not as good as a normal finishing oil, but it's not bad. Okay. So do you put anything else or that's it? That's it. So we have so starter is ready. Starter is ready. Round of applause now. So we're going to put the pasta in the crab shell. We're going to put it in the crab. Okay. Perfect. Huh? All right. How are we doing now? So pasta is cooked. Good. Yeah. Drain it. Can you drain the pasta, please? <laughs> So when you put this in, are you going to put it on high heat as well? Yes, high heat again for about a minute, a minute and a half. 
Okay, yes. and that's it. We're Ready done. to serve. We're done. All right, so the dessert, how's that going? The dessert, that will take a little bit longer. Okay. But um, what we're going to do is, I have some desserts already pre-prepped. Okay, yes. all right, all right. Are you guys ready to eat? So does this pasta come in different sizes or? Um, Pakari comes like this. Then you have mezzemani, you have different, there's so many. There are about 600 different kinds of pasta. Okay. So this one, this particular one comes in this big This size. particular one comes okay. like this. Okay. So I had already put some pasta water in there, so we didn't need to put any more. All right. Pasta water usually has a little bit of starch. Okay. So it's always yeah, good to add a little a bit of little... starch. You, you, you see it cloudy. Yes. Okay. Aren't you being burnt? No. Wow. Okay. So you mix it in and then just cover it up? Mix it in. No, just no, leave cover it, like it up, just leave it open. Like this. Okay. Is there, is there a reason why you prefer not to cover it up? No, at this point, you just want it to dry down a little, just the remaining starch to come into this, that's okay. all. Oh, don't forget to give the lady in glasses. Where are you? Right there in the blue, blue shirt. Yeah? Okay. Not your own blue shirt, though. The blue shirt to blue shirt away from you. Okay. <laughs> All right, so the fish is ready. Is the, is the skin going to be crispy underneath? No, it's no? baked, but okay. you'll like it. All right. Let's warm these two things up quickly. So does the fish go in a different plate, or it still goes in the same plate with the Different the plate, pasta? different, different plate. plate. All right. We're plating now, we've finished. Okay. You want me to clean the edges for you? <laughs> uh, Just clean the whole thing. Yes. Sorry, can you pass right. me a tissue? So this is plated and then... Pass me a tissue quickly. What are we plating now? Uh, the fish? No, we're about to plate the fish. Okay. Sorry. Where do you put the, cra the crab clothes? Oh wow, that looks really good. Really good. Can you, you wanna see? Uh, okay. Pass me the sorry show all the well. Okay. Last right, thing. So that's done. How's that going? Where's the fish 
fist bump. Fist bump. Just leave it there. So you put this at the bottom and then fish on top? All right, guys. Please give Chef Benedict a round of applause. This has been an amazing class. So we are going to, of course, give you guys tiny bits to share and, you know, eat and enjoy. Not everybody's going to eat, unfortunately. But, you know, we'll get, we'll, we'll get you out. We'll get some food out there.